and it, and that's how it translates. So even twenty years later, I mean, ten year olds like yo, that's way before your time. Mm. But they know I'll pay for it, and they know these songs, and they know who he is. And I think, even though it's sad that he's not any longer here with us, he's right. still here with us. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. So I'm just saying it to say this, that when things like that happen, you have to really, you had so many good memories with him. Right. You had so many learning lessons. You have hold on to those things. And you can't the make the bad overpower because Co- that, it can correct. easily happen where it can fill you up with hate and anger. And you tend to forget about all of the good all things. All the good things. Because you got to think about like, God forbid, but if you go, what do you want your kids to remember exactly. you? How do you want your family to remember you? So you have to think about those things. You don't want them to be, you know, this, this field of hatred mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. anger and can't move on. And you know what I mean? I got you. So you it. have to, you have to um, honor that person's memory in that type of way right. where they want to know that he would love to know that his sister is good. His sister is flourishing. His mm. sister, his mama is good. His mama is flourishing. Sure, right. You know what I mean? He don't want nobody to, yes, you're going to mourn because we're human beings. We're going to feel sad. We're going to cry every now and again. You got to let it out when you have to let it out. Mm-hmm. You don't want to hold that thing in. Yep. Because it can deteriorate your body in so many different ways. But I love the fact that y'all keeping his memory alive. I yes, keep talking yes, about yes. him because that's what you're doing. Yes. The more you talk about him is the more people not going to forget about him. The more people going to, Know about him. Some people who maybe never heard of him before. They gonna know that. They gonna know about <laughs> him now. You know what I mean? It, it, and, it, and that's how it translates. So even twenty years later, I mean, ten year olds like yo, that's way before your time. Mm. But they know I'll pay for it, and they know these songs, and they know who he is. And I think, even though it's sad that he's not any longer here with us, he's right. still here with us. Because every day you hear a new story about how great of a person he was. Mm. And I mean, not too many people. Sometimes when people die, you know, that's it for them. And he had children. Yes, my nephew. I have uh, one. I have one okay. nephew. Okay, so I so said he carry on his. Yeah. Did he end up trying to come in the music industry? Yes, right. my nephew is a rapper too. Okay, how yes. old is he? He is twenty six years old. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, he's twenty six years old. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Little soldier slum. That's good. Yeah. Music is just all up in your family. Isn't yeah, it? just everywhere, all running through the bloodline. <laughs> love it, love it, love that it. That is good. Cool. And how is he hand- handling? You know, because he was how old when it happened? He probably was like eight, eight or nine. So oh, really? I know he remember because you can remember when your daddy bought you them Gucci shoes. Mm-hmm. I know he, he can, can remember. <laughs> yeah, the times that they had. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he remembers. Um, you know, but y'all are there for him. I was there for him and pulled him through all of that. Yeah, yeah. That's so we just, you know, everybody tells him stories. Like I said, we always hear a new story yeah. every day. Sometimes when people die, you don't get to hear anything about them. But we get a, every time we meet somebody, it's something that he did that I have you thinking he like Jesus in the second coming. Tell me a story that you heard that you never knew about your brother that somebody told you. So my mom loves to tell us when they had a lady. Um, at that time, she was going through cancer, so her head was bald. Mm-hmm. And she said she didn't know from A to Z, like, who is Soldier Slim? Mm-hmm. She just heard everybody saying, Soldier Slim is here, Soldier Slim is here. She said she went over there and she told him, hey, I don't know you. And don't talk about me because I got a bald head now. And said, he kissed on her head. She said, Aww. she said, girl, look at my hair. My mom said, she seen it. She said, girl, I got a full head of hair. <laughs> <laughs> a full head of hair then somebody told me a story it was like um, the house ended up burning down mm-hmm. and they didn't have anywhere to go and then they say he can't pick them up personally and bought them to live with him and it's like all the stories you hear you see that's why I tell people all the time when you live life don't live life for yourself you live it for others other because people, yep. when you go you gotta leave the memories that's the mm-hmm. one thing you gotta leave if it's everything you're doing is just for you Ain't nobody going even. You got a lot of people that's selfish. But right. I mean, given you're going to always, even if you don't get the recognition for it at that time, people yeah, appreciate people, it. Yeah, people, because when you live your life for yourself, don't live it for gratification, not for people to come to you and say, oh my God, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Don't live it like that. You know, it, just know that if you're living your life right and doing what you're supposed to be doing, helping others, the reward is going to be there. Exactly. That's wow. all I gotta say. Well, hey man, you know, like um, you just like I said, you gave us that story. I wanted to ask about that because that's the elephant in the room. Of I course, always, uh, you know, um, and that matters. 
it you know, does. that people hear your side of what was going on. That matters a lot because a lot of people don't know kind of what happened leading up to it. The ones right. that wasn't around during that time or people who really love the music now and listen to his music. They don't know. They don't know. And but, they always think that they're like, she don't know. She wasn't around at that time. She too young. I'm like, I was a teenager, baby. <laughs> old teenager, teenager, right? Yeah, I know, like, I know you about that. I got an old soul. Yeah, right, like, I'm, I'm a teenager, baby. I was, yeah. I'm not that young. I just look good. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.